Another high school basketball Friday night and another rivalry as South Laurel traveled to North Laurel. Bryan Station went on the road to Lincoln County looking to keep its perfect record alive. And Casey County's girls also undefeated on the season. Could the Lady Rebels keep that intact with a trip to Rock Castle? LEX 18 High School Sports Zone starts right now. Good evening and welcome to the award-winning LEX 18 High School Sports Zone with Charlie Walter because my partner Alan Cutler has the night off. I'm Keith Farmer. It's one of the better rivalries in Kentucky, I'd yeah, say. Yeah, South Laurel and North Laurel. Crosstown rivals that once again has a lot of meaning. South Laurel just lost to a tough Corbin team, now 4-1. and one. And for the second year in a row, North Laurel going into the game 6-0. and oh. Standing room only 30 minutes before tip. They leave the lights on for the Cardinals intro, but the lights go out for the home team. Unfortunately for the Jags, South Laurel was lights out early. Logan Madden, the silky pull-up J. And it's Madden, the feed. Ryan Anders, the finish. South began this game on a 14-0 run. Now it's catch-up ball for the Jags. Albert Oster is going to go to work on the block. That's North's first basket of the game, down 14-2. And then it's a bucket from Brian Gray off the miss. That'll get the faithful back in it. But the home court advantage, not nearly enough. If your name JJ, you can shoot the ball. JJ Ramey does just that off the dribble, rattles it home. South Laurel goes into North Laurel's gym and knocks them for the ranks of the unbeaten. 65-49 is your final. How about Brian Station, Keith? Oh, what a start for Brian Station. So far, you can call them the king of Lexington. Not only are they 6-0, but they've handled Henry Clay, Tates Creek, and Frederick Douglass in their last three games. And after Thanksgiving, they beat Dunbar. Well, the defenders went to Lincoln County. Brian Station setting up a big play, but Jalen Burbage decides to shoot, knocks down the three. Lincoln County would respond. Jackson Smith gets the pass. Makes the easy two points as Brian Station's putting on a little pressure here. Eric Boone saves the ball, gives it to Clayton Murphy for three points. Brian Station wins again, 77-66. It was ugly Christmas sweater night at Clark County. As the Cardinals hosted Paris. First quarter off the Clark inbounds. Brennan Canada knocks down the jumper as he's fouled. Cardinals take a two-point lead. Then watch this Marcus Ashford with the handles. Then the sweet pass to Travis Strings. Two of his game-high 27 points. The Clark's Chase Taylor gets a steal, takes it in for the layup as Cardinals get a big 10th region win, 71-64. 3-0 West Jessamon hasn't scored less than 81 points in a game this season. They're at 5-1 Mercer County. Hey, when you hustle, good things happen. West Jess hustling hard. Nice pass ahead. Skylar Kennedy gets the transition bucket. Then for Mercer, it's Trayvon Faulkner, the step-back jumper, plus the foul. How about some more Faulkner? Off the screen, straight cash. He was huge. The Titans drop West Jess, their first loss of the season, 89-77. to 4-3, Clay County made a visit to 4-2, Lex Calf. Second quarter action, Ryan Rogers, the easy two off the inbounds play. That made it 16-10. Here comes Lex Calf. Cole Gannon with the three from the corner. That ties it at 16. Then back to the visitors, Jacob Curry from the parking lot. That puts Clay County up 21-16. Lexington Catholic makes the comeback. Bryce Scott plus the foul. Lex Calf wins 57-40. All right, two and three, Frederick Douglass at four and one, Lafayette. First quarter, Naker Joseph with the nice pass to Bilal Chad for the Douglass lay-in, 10-8 Generals lead. Skylar Hart gets the three to fall for Douglass, but then Ray Surratt with the rebound and put back. He had 12, makes it 16-12 Generals, and then Cameron King going to hit a three for the Generals. Lafayette wins it big, 85-54. Woodford County, off to a terrific 5-1 start at Tates Creek, shooting for its second win of the season. The Commodores hanging tough early. Deontay Edmonds drops in a three-pointer. Woodford leads by just two, 20-18. Woodford County then works it around the zone, attacks the middle as Justin Alexander hits the shot in the lane. Woodford County gets the road win, 66-52. 3-1 Boyle County at 2-3 LCA. Look at this. The middle wide open. Austin Hall, the drive and finish. LCA up 39-26. Carter Hendrickson, you know what he is. He's a shooter. 
Shooter's going to shoot. He was 6 of 7 from downtown, 42 28. LCA on top. Back to Boyle. Nice ball movement. And the sophomore, Grant Hotchkiss, with the little kiss on the baseline. Eagles win 73 59. 3 and 2 Frankfurt at the team that, oh yeah, they love so much. 2 and 4 Franklin County. Dwan Davis makes an impressive three pointer for the Panthers. And then Davis tries to score again, but watch this. Flyers Ike Bowling steals the ball, drives it all the way down court for the slam. The ball would then be intercepted uh, once again. This time it's Frankfurt's Joanna Frank who goes on to score for his team. Another two points on the layup. Frankfurt wins it 62 to 51. To the ladies, 7 0 Casey County at 2 2 Rock Castle County. Watch this play from the Rockets. Shelby Newland behind the back, spin, dish. Casey Coleman, the finish, plus the foul. Lady Rebels would respond. It's Jordy Stevens receiving on the block and finishing with the right hand. Back come the Rockets. Reagan Chastain, the assist. Emma Bowens, the bucket. Rock Castle kept it within single digits most of the game, but couldn't get the big stop. Cundiff with the three here, 59 48. Casey County wins. They remain unbeaten. Our Lady Flyers, good once again, 5 0 against. One and four, Frankfurt. Jasmine Simpson shoots one of many three-point shots made by the Lady Flyers. Knocks that one down there. Tamara Barnett going to move past Franklin County's defense to score two for the Lady Panthers. As she'll go right by there for the jumper. Lady Flyers passing the ball around, though, and Julia Welsh going to make a three-pointer. Franklin County wins big, 68-34. to 34. 3 and 2 Dunbar at LCA trying to get their second win. How about Bethany Shelby going to work on the glass here? Her board and the putback high off the glass. That gives Dunbar a 25-9 lead. Some more nice work on the glass for Dunbar. And a nice move by Grace Combs. No problem for Dunbar tonight. 57-24 to they roll. All right, our last stop is back at Clark County. 5-3 and three Paris, 3-2 three and two Clark County. The Cardinals run up a big third quarter to take control of this game. Clark County cruises to a big win, 76 to 35. And uh, as our Alan Cutler started saying about maybe 40 years ago, we, we hope, hope your favorite, favorite team won. won. Hey, pretty good <laughs> chemistry for the first time. <laughs>